Zoril has a quest. Not the quest that <laughs> Hadvar wants him to embark upon. No, a more reasonable quest. Not to find someone's uncle. Not to warn a kingdom of a dragon. Not to save Skyrim as an ancient hero. No. To steal ultimate power from a dragon god that has returned to life to wreak vengeance on Skyrim and raise the rest of the dragons and pretty much rule everything. Zoril wants to rule everything. So he's going to have to kill Alduin. <sighs> he's going to need a base of operations. See? This is Zoril. <laughs> right now. See, uh, he's wearing Imperial armor and cloth. Not exactly a battle mage of old. He's gonna need every last bit ounce of his power and more if he's gonna have any hope of defeating Alduin. What's more, he's gonna need a few distracting tasty little tidbits to distract Alduin while he comes in from behind and murders him. In other words, he needs a few allies, a few servants, a few weaklings that'll do whatever he asks. He also needs loot. You, give me that loot. Brilliant. Meat. <laughs> Gold, that's useful. Dusk, that's valuable. More meat. Meat. Now that. I want that. You know what? I'm gonna take everything you own. One thing you do not own is a pickaxe, although I saw you using one. Also, letting. Let me just check the difficulty here. So there is. Let's see. There's novice, apprentice, adept, expert, master. I was on adept, I'm moving up to expert. I think there should be a bit more progression. So I should, I mean, to be fair, Zoral is supposed to be drained of his powers. I don't think it should be mastered quite yet. Because Skyrim has not yet woken up to Zoril. Once he's gained in power, then they'll start gaining in power to beat him. Alright. So, Riverwood is a good destination, even if his quest does not directly lead there. He's gonna need a base of operations, a few lackeys. The beginnings of conquest. He's also gonna need to kill every animal he sees. Oh, loot. Uh, Zordal's a fan of alchemy. All of those mixings and such. Now, according to my map, this area has lots of loot in it. That's at least what Elduin told me. Ah, this looks promising. Wait, all right. Mage stone. Excellent. Hmm. Pomegranate, cranberry pomegranate. A delicious drink. Ah. Another weakling to kill. These hunters don't know who they're dealing with. Do you know? Uh, excuse me. Five, right? No, what? So, that'd be two. Uh, this be five. No, wait, three. This should be five. No, this should be five. Four. This should be five. Okay, I got a lot of stuff here. Um, flames. Okay, so two. Oh! -ho -ho. That was epic. And you, my dear, have so much more. I could still use a better weapon. Steel. Again, Zoro cares nothing for the law. 
he's not exactly like a born thief. He just doesn't care that things I belong to other people. In his eyes, the whole world belongs to him. Unfortunately, guards don't usually see it that way, and he's had to burn more than one town to escape the law. <laughs> nice little blood spatter there. Should clean it on some bushes. <gasps> yeah, still there. That actually be a pretty cool mod. You have to actually you have to actually clean your sword manually. I like that. Uh, if you hear any extra background noise today, I am not in my own house in my next little recording studio, but in a makeshift recording studio in someone else's office. <laughs> not the ideal situation, but I'll have to do. Grab you, grab you. Hello. Hmm. I there's I don't see the point of magic kill moves. Unless it's like really special magics like you fire a fireball that explodes in a dazzling display that just burnt, like, crisps your enemy to a cinder. Other than that, I just don't see any point. It's a shame. <sighs> Alright. Let me just check my inventory. I actually got a lot of stuff by now. <laughs> nice supply of arrows. Some iron weaponry. <laughs> Many longbows. And a steel dagger. Interesting. Now, here's something. Let's see, Let's see what it looked like with this on. Mm, you know, this would be great for a hunter, but Zoral's not really a hunter. Let's take a look here. Um, that the hat looks kind of cool. Mm. Now, boots and gauntlets are definitely better than the Imperial stuff that we had. So let's just switch that out. Doesn't mesh as well. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. I'm possibly coming down with something. I've been sneezing this whole week. All of Christmas. My Christmas present from nature sneezes. Okay, Magicka by 30 points. Definitely useful. Regenerates, very useful. I do like the look at this armor. That's not right. I think something's off with the gauntlets in this mod. There's still R13, you can't really beat that. Uh, right, Chester. You know what? This will have to do for now. It'll have to do. Let's just wear that. Yeah. Possibly sell that, although I might want to keep one of those. So that doesn't change. Alright, uh... I don't need a shield. Uh, minor healing, very useful. Minor magic, uh, more useful. Some food is good. I might eventually get a needs mod, but... I don't see Zoral as the kind of person who takes time out of his day just to attend to natural things. Right, I can sell that book. Keys, misc- oh. You have to do smithing in this game. Even if you don't want to have a focus, it has to be a focus. You have to do smithing in this game or else your armor is going to be really, really weak. 
it's just it's a foregone conclusion. I'm also gonna have to visit the college at one point because they're the only ones that sell good mage stuff, like robes and all that. How is Hadvar actually here? Oh. Let's see here. Ah, here we are. This is the Riverwood Trader. Let's see what we have. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, I don't know what you overheard, but <laughs> Just the Riverwood Trader is still. Do you sell spells? I think I have a few old spell books laying about. If you want more, you'll have to go to the College of Winterhold. Unless I expected I would. All right. I don't care what you have for now. Uh, I want to get rid of. This, 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 this. Alright, I've sold all the weapons except for my sword, my bow, and some arrows. Now, I don't expect that I'll do much archery, as magic is so much more useful, but on the off chance that I decide archery is better for the situation, then I will resort to it. It's not a something that I'm never going to consider. Now, I decided... I'm still torn about selling this. I'm sure I'm going to find more of this. So there, but... I do love the Hunter armor. It's one of my favorite armors in the entire Immersive Armors pack. So I've kept these three potions that I've sold. Everything else, the potion of health and the potion of stamina, they're gone. I've sold no ingredients, and I'm going to need to do some alchemy eventually. I did sell the Horker Tusk, but I kept the rest of the hides. I figure I'm going to need them for smith. For smithing. Now books. Let's just check what he has here. I've already got that. Don't have that. However, I don't expect to do very much cold magic. I focus primarily on fire and sparks. Now raise zombie. I want that. Conjuration is definitely gonna be one of my, the major things that I use. Oak flesh, not really. Less reward, no. Uh, Fury? Don't think so. That one, actually, I'll type that anyways. So, now I've done a bit of trading. The little trader. I better get back to cleaning the store. What a mess. Alright, uh, you also, is everything you need something happened. They were talking about something. I'm hoping that I can recruit one of them. Uh, he... Thieves. Yes. As if things weren't yeah. bad enough. They don't look very strong, but I don't really need strong people. I just need meat shields, and they can serve that real well. Uh, yeah, we did have a bit of a, a break-in. We, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. Wait, did you see a dragon's claw? A dragon's claw. That combined with rumors I've heard of Skyrim and its connection with the Dragons of Old. Hmm. You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, if you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northeast of town. Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Apparently not. Oh, really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. I really don't. Don't get yourself involved. No, I... Unless you want to come with me and be my meat shield, but that's it. Now, I assume that's the barrow up there. <laughs> yes, I'm sure you do. Right. 
So, now, from what I've heard and what I've studied, Skyrim used to be inhabited by dragons that ruled over the north until they gained the power of the voice and rose up against them. Hmm. Now, that would be an ancient Nordic tomb, I would assume. A barrow for the Nords. And an ornament in the shape of a dragon's claw. The dragons were always a large point in the Nords' history and their culture. Well, eventually they rose up against their dragon overlords. Many temples were devoted entirely to the dragons. So I wonder. I wonder. What might I find there? I really should visit that soon. An elf. Hmm. Did I see you talking to Sven? Maybe not. Maybe. Never mind. But I would stay away from him if I were you. No, why is that? Hmm? Let's hear your story. Greetings, brother elf. Good to see a familiar face so far from home. Really? No, I'm a Dunmer and you're a Bosmer. There's quite a bit of difference there. So I wrong with Sven. He didn't see... All, he did seem to be a bit annoying. Since he was saying that his mother was lying, or was crazy when she wasn't. I saw the dragon too. And while I'm certainly crazy, I know it to be true. I can separate my delusions from my realities. Or does that make them not delusions? Uh, if you understand that a delusion isn't real, is it still a delusion? Like, if you understand that it's real but don't care, like, you still believe it, you just know it's not real? That is an interesting point to study. Hmm. He's a bard, so he says. Occasionally, he finds time to do his job here at the mill. Thinks his ballads and sonnets are going to convince Camilla Valerius to marry him. As if she would say yes. An intelligent, beautiful woman like her wouldn't fall for that nonsense. I hope. If I helped you with your problem, would you help me with mine? I could see this going well for the both of us. Until you die. But you'll die anyways. This way, you'll die fighting for the right cause. My cause. I've been thinking. Maybe Camilla needs a little help seeing Sven for what he is. Ha <laughs> ha! Could you the old Ford could you give her this letter and say it's from Sven? I think I've matched that Nord's lack of cleverness perfectly. Doubtful, but I'll help you out. Mm -hmm. Until next time. Let's read that letter. Looks. Okay. Hmm. My dearest Camilla, I yearn to have you as my own, washing my linens, my fine blonde hair, to cook my dinner for my stove, and hen to my house while I wander. Yours truly, Sven. Yes, I'm sure she'll be confused and distraught by that. Now let's check my magic. Oh, I have a level up. Let's check the magic first. Uh, all. Let's get those in the queue. So now, I've got flames. Fury should be two. Uh, Ray Zombie should be three, four. Is that five? We'll actually end up being that. Six, and mostly that is that. I don't know. Uh. Alright, so I just... I basically use the number keys to cycle through them. Skipping five. Alright. So one's my flames. Choose my fury. Oh. Must be one of those whispers from the college in Winterhold. Three, so. As soon as you've given Camilla the letter. All right, I've got it all down. I'll probably forget it soon, but once I've done enough, I'll remember it. Oh, you're Camilla, right? This way. Uh, Fendal. Know what? Fendal uh, will serve me well. I'm not gonna betray him. I have a letter from you from Sven. Poem, I bet. 
He does know how to make a girl blush. Let's see if you fall for it. If you are falling for it. You are an idiot and deserve to be lied to. Clean you can tell Sven that he already has a mother. I'm not speaking to him anymore. Good. I'd better get going. Well, Fendal will be pleased at that. Fendal. I, I appreciate your help. Please, take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. That's it. I can get gold aplenty, and that's only 25. Yes! Lead My first way. minion. Excellent. My invasion of Skyrim has begun! Oh, excuse me. Stupid posts. Hmm, these posts are quite literally invincible. Very fire resistant wood. Alright, tanning rock, what do you have for me? Leather, leather. There we go. That sorts it out well enough. I can just take stealing it. And iron, excuse me, hey no! I will hurt you. Hey, be careful! I will hurt you. Seriously. Why? I, I don't know why I can just take that. Ah, uh, perhaps it's, uh, Hadar is just told him about that. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, open Alvar in Sacred's house. I was supposed to meet him, according to Hadvar. As I would assume I can just take whatever I want. If not, you'll probably yell and scream. Ah! I can just take whatever I want. Lovely. And they'll never know it's gone. Oh, uh, guide to Whiterun. Uh, I will be going to Whiterun soon. It's the nearest city, and I feel I should acquaint myself with more of the locals than simply this backwater town. Ah, hello, Avar. Ain't every day we get visitors. Of course. Supplies. Excellent. I'll just take everything you own. There's something you could do for me. For all of us here. I don't want to do anything for you. To know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. Why would I assist in bringing down Alduin? Oh wait, never mind. Uh, send whatever soldiers you can. I phrased that totally wrong. You'll do that for me. I'll be in your death. Let me rephrase that. Why would I assist in disrupting Alduin's plans? I want his plans to go well, so that when I stage a coup and slaughter him, I won't have to do any more work. The Skyrim will already be dominated by the dragons. It's a perfect plan. But, uh, if I'm in a white run, then perhaps I'll tell him. Probably not. They already know what dragon's about, and I don't suppose I have to tell him that Alduin is the dragon. Alright, I think I'll head to Whiterun then. Well, that's about it. Oh dear, what time is it? Quite late. I can use your bed. You know. Okay. <laughs> well, successful little adventure there. Did you really see a dragon? Crazy girl. Ugh. Go away. Not quite. Well, take what you need, my friend. <laughs> yeah. Reason, of course. Oh, sorry. I don't have much else, but I think that's just about it. Hmm. Let's take a quick rest, and I'll see you a lot in the morning.